before we jump into everything, I'm sure there's going to be an interesting session. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot from today's session. So make sure you take notes. Make sure you um, just, uh, yeah, stay tuned to everything that's being shared. The comment section is open. So during this live session, if you happen to join it live, you can leave comments and questions. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. All right, so let's get started. I think I'll start with a little bit about me. So my name is Kekeli Bakna. I am a digital marketing um, expert with more of my specialization in search engine optimization. Um, I've been doing this for over a decade and I've built multiple businesses that are generating income uh, mainly through the internet and through all the digital skills that I've acquired over the years. And I do these sessions to basically teach people and also help people who are thinking of getting started in the, the digital space. Or in this case, anybody who is interested in building a digital asset, anybody who wants to add an asset to their, to their life. Because we all know that the income you're getting from your job is not enough. You definitely need to do something extra and a lot of people have always approached me and asked me, what can I do more? What can I do extra? Well, this is one of them, which I call, which I think works. But um, of course, there are a few things that you need to know about it. And that's why we are going to today's session. All right. So as I said, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments as we go. I'll definitely make time to go through all of them. All right. So. Let's get it started. So I think the first thing we need to settle here is that this is not a get rich quick scheme, right? A lot of people who approach me for online jobs, they want to do so, so, and so online. They are always thinking of, you know, get rich quick, uh, get rich quick schemes. You know, they, 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 mo they mainly have a need that needs to be met urgently. So when they come to me, they feel like I should just show them something so that by tomorrow, dollars can just start flowing in. It never works like that. And I'm advising you to change that mindset if you ever want to succeed in this, um, in this space. The internet has provided a lot for us, a lot of opportunities. And even though there are things that can get any money fast, we are looking at more of a long-term approach. You know, we want to see what can earn us money in the long term that we can even hand over to our children uh, when we are no longer here, you know. So I think you should really think long term, okay? Think long term. And, you know, these things that I'm sharing with you, it took me years to, to grasp them and to understand them in a certain way. But through these videos, you're going to be able to start making money within months if you follow everything diligently, all right? So yeah, with that out of the way, I think the mindset is very, very important because um, a man is what he thinks. So if you are not thinking correctly concerning um, making money online or getting a passive source of income and all that, if you are thinking quick, 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 please, you have to just change your mind right now as we go into the session, all right? So yes. Now, um, what are assets? Assets, I think most of us went to, went to school and in school they taught us that an asset is basically anything that keeps bringing you money or increasing your value, right? I got this definition, it says it's anything tangible or intangible that can be used to produce positive economic value. So basically it is, it could be something that you can hold or something that um, it's intangible, but then it brings you economic value. We'll go more into details later. Assets present value of ownership that can be converted into cash, although cash itself is also considered an asset. Yeah, so that's one thing you need to know, that assets can be digital or they can be physical, just like um, any other, a lot of things in this life. So some of the intangible assets, I'm sure you've, most of you have heard of cryptocurrency. Um, these are assets that are intangible forex trading. You never get to hold the money unless you're withdrawing it. 
but you are actually trading real money, but it's just not tangible. You know, and your skill, your skill is also an asset. The skills that you currently have, you know, maybe you've been trained as a doctor. It's an asset because you have a different realm of knowledge and understanding that um, the average person would not have. So wherever you've been trained in, whether you're an accountant, a graphic designer, a marketer, that alone is an asset to you that you can actually use. And more about that um, in the in this presentation. Your influence could also be an asset. You know, why are celebrities popular and why are celebrities celebrities? It's just because they are influential, they have a reputation, they are popular. A lot of people know them, you know. So that alone can open doors for you. That alone can be an asset to you and can earn you contracts and gigs that uh, the normal person who might even be more talented than you would not be would not be able to get. All right. So patents. Patents are also assets. If you, you are an inventor, <coughs> sorry, if you are an inventor, you are into inventing of items and tools and gizmos and all that. Um, patenting it will be a great asset. Your voice can be an asset. There are people who are voice coaches or voice trainers or they lend their voices to ads and etc. So your voice can be an asset. If you have a deep baritone voice, it could be an asset. If you have a nice screechy voice, it, may, it could be an asset in various fields. Okay, And this one I think is one of the most important, which is information. We are in the information age. So information is critical. Without information, you just can't do much. We go to school because we want to acquire information. We want to know things. Right? So information is very, very top. Your copyrights, your IPs, you know, all these are forms of assets. Client relationship. A lot of people don't talk about this. But there are some people who are very, very good with clients. There are some people who know how to nurture a client, that alone can be an asset. You realize that in the sales world, you could be very, very valuable because it's an asset to you. You know how to you know, relate with clients. You are very good with client management and client relations. Very, very good asset. Um, goodwill it can also be an asset. I like to call it favor. Because there are some things that people, um, when they see you, they just like you. For no reason, basically, they just know that I just like this person. This person is honest. This person is someone I want to work with. You know, if you live your life in a way that is honorable, you know, you you easily have a lot of asset. You, you it's a big asset actually. You know, the world today makes it look as if um, you need to be um, you know sketchy. You need to do things in a way that is not right if you want to make money. That's what the politicians have made a lot of people believe. But um, a good name is better than riches, as the Bible says. So it's very important for you to keep that good name because it is far more valuable. It's more of an asset than even money, according to the Bible. So it's very, very important. So trade secrets, etc. So there are lots of intangible assets out there. And it's important to understand and know what asset do I have as a person. What is it that I'm good at? What is that? Is it that I've been trained in? What have I spent the last years studying and learning? All those things. Start putting all that together in your head and you start seeing the assets that you have. Maybe it's public speaking. Maybe over the years you've been speaking at a lot of conferences and engagements. You realize that, oh, if you are good with public speaking, maybe you could be an MC or something like that. It, it becomes an asset. You know, so... Find out what asset will be best for you, okay? But in today's session, I'm not going to be just talking general. I want to talk mainly about um, using a website as an asset, okay? Now, um, in the I, I put something up on social media. If you are given a land in a choice location or a website with 10,000 views, which one would you take? Uh, yeah, a lot of people were saying land, land, land. A few people also said websites. And, well, they are all assets. So depending on you and depending on what works for you and your understanding and what you can do with it, uh, you'll be able to get a lot more benefit from it. 
So I just want to compare a few things between a land, a piece of land and a website. A website is almost like a piece of land, just that it's digital. Because the URL is kind of like your, your piece of land, like facebook.com is their land. <laughs> Nobody else can have facebook.com. And when we go there, we see what is there, which is Facebook. You know, and it's very similar to a land. And there are very important differences which I want to highlight over here, right? So very first thing here is that um, the land is has a high barrier to entry, okay? Land has a high barrier to entry because if you want to buy land in any place in the city, especially in a prime area, you are looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars, not even galaxies, dollars, just to acquire that piece of land. Sometimes even millions of of dollars just to acquire a piece of land if you're even looking at the outskirts at least you are looking at twenty thousand Ghana cities plus right for a website all you need to do is your domain name and hosting with under a thousand Ghana cities you can get that started right so the barrier to entry is much much lower um, land is also not very liquid when you have a piece of land selling it becomes um a, a, it's, it takes time to sell land I know someone who has built up to a certain point, but she wants to sell her land, but it's taken so long because um, land is not something that people just buy, like you're buying biscuits or anything like that. It takes a lot of time, lots of research. People have to you know, do a lot of investigation before they commit to buying a piece of land. But a website, if a website is doing well, you would have buyers instantly. People are ready to just buy the website. And I'll explain more soon. Now, land is geographically bound because you can't carry your piece of land anywhere. You can't even carry it outside the country. Nowhere. <laughs> Once you buy the land, that is it. But with the website, you have worldwide access. A website can, you can use the website wherever you are on the planet. Okay. Um, lands naturally increase in value. So yes, well, that's one of the great advantages of land. If you have land, and even though you do nothing on the land, the value is automatically increasing. But with a website, even though the value doesn't automatically increase, if you do what you need to do, which I'll explain very soon, you have the potential to um, almost limitless increase when it comes to your website. All right, so... It's, uh, we'll get into that. I don't want to spoil it now. So land requires lots of capital to develop. Buying land alone doesn't do much. You can have the land and if you don't develop it, even though the value is increasing, it's at a certain point. When you develop a property on the land, it becomes even more valuable. The very same thing happens with the website. You can buy a website and depending on what you build on that website, the value can be very, very high. Facebook is worth billions right now. And it's just a website. It's sitting on a server somewhere, but it is worth billions because of the of what has been built on it. All right. So and it requires very little capital as compared to building a house. Right now, with all the AI and technology that we have available to us, building a website is quite easy. Anybody can actually do it. You can just take a template, slap it on your servers, and you have your website ready. So it's much, much easier. It requires very little capital to get started. And I mean, with about 2,000 Ghana CDs, you can have a functioning website to yourself, right? The maintenance cost is also high. If you have a piece of land, you know that you'd have to be weeding the land, guarding the land, when you have a structure on it, there's even more maintenance to be done. You have to always check your plumbing, electricity, cleaning, so many things. But with the website, all you need to do is make sure that you're, you're on a good server and your website is being maintained. You are putting in the security, the SSL, etc., which are all standard. You know, So you realize that it's much easier to go for a digital piece of land, which I like to call a website. You know, if you are starting out and you can't buy a physical piece of land, you can actually even gain much more through a digital piece of land, which is a website, all right? Now, how do websites become assets? 
very simple. I think I've simplified this into four main points as to how websites um, can become assets. All right, I'm just checking in the chat before we go into this. Okay, I'm seeing someone elegant sings. Sound is a bit low. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, I think I'm on my max sound here, but hopefully it's better and you'll be able to hear me. Just give me any updates if you need it, okay? All right, so how can websites become assets? Very simple. Websites can become assets in four main ways. The first one here is the traffic and views. When you have a website that is attracting traffic and getting a lot of views, you are able to channel that into revenue. You know, and we see that a lot with a lot of the news websites, um, websites like Ghana Web, MyJoyOnline, CTFM, uh, Mekasa.com. These are all um, news websites. Okay, Mekasa isn't, but these are all news websites. And the news websites are, um, you know, just designed for news. They are designed to give people news. So people come to those websites a lot just because it's news. If it's breaking news, you realize that traffic is even increasing more. So yes, you could have that web, that kind of website. That's one way to make your website an asset and it can be, you know, you can turn it into, you can turn those views into money. More on that soon. Um, attracting a specific demographic. So this is more focused. So this is where you're creating content that is focused on a specific demographic. Like if you are a lawyer, you can create content for lawyers or um, new lawyers. People want to get into the bar, what they need to do, how they need to pass their exam. Creating content like that would give you a specific audience. You can get thousands of people who are in the same situation who need to pass their bar exam once they search and they find you they 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 they, they easily gel with the content that you're giving out all right so that's another very important thing going very specific to your need um the next one is meeting a need so this is basically a service website like maybe um you you do deliveries for example People who need to get deliveries done can come to your website and, you know, take advantage of your delivery service. I remember I needed to move out from where I was staying and I needed a delivery car. And I Googled it. A website came up, got in touch with them. Within a few minutes, I had a delivery car at my place and we were able to do all the moving. So you see, having a website that is service oriented is also a way to turn it into an asset. And the last one is, I think this is the most popular one that most people know, which is um, products, if you're selling products, an e-commerce website. So if you have products, maybe you're selling shampoo or uh, makeup kits or something, you know, when you have all those things, you can actually um, sell them directly on your website, which is a way of making money very fast. Now, how do you build a profitable website? Um, I told you that building a website is very, very easy to do. The thing, I think this is a simple four-step process to building and, and starting or running a website. First of all, you need to start with your niche. What do you want to focus your website on? We just went through four areas, right? If you want it to be a news website, fine. If you wanted to focus on um, maybe the beauty industry or maybe the cake industry, maybe you're a baker, you want to create a website specifically for bake bakers. You know, people want to get into baking, all they need to know about baking, the tools they need to buy, etc. Fine. The thing is that you need to do your research, do keyword, what we call keyword research. Keyword research is basically um, research into the, the, the keywords that people are typing in, right? So for example, if I want to do a, a website on bakery, right? You need to do keyword research and find out how many people are actually searching for any bakery related term or what exactly are they searching for? You realize that when you do your research, you would even get to, um, um, you, you, you'd find something out that, oh, okay, people are actually searching for this. You might think that they might be searching for bread, but meanwhile, 
most searches may be geared towards the best oven for a bakery, you know. So when you do your research, you get to see how the market is playing out. How are people searching? What are people searching for? So that you have a, an idea of the kind of content you can create. And you also get to see the volume, right? If you know that a thousand people are searching for the best bakery oven in Ghana, realize that, wow, okay, this is a business. If I can get in touch with people who sell ovens and connect them through my website, I'm in business, you know? And there's something that you're also passionate about. I always say that, that start with something that you're passionate about or something that you have extensive knowledge on, all right? Don't just go ahead and create a website because you are just looking for, you know, anything to create. Create something that you know so that when you are creating the content, your knowledge and expertise can be seen within the content. It shows. When people are going through your content, they'll realize that, wow, this is deep. This is very useful information that they can actually use um, in the long run. All right, so look for a good niche. Do your keyword research. If you need help with keyword research, you can always reach out to me. Um, the details, you can go to my website, kekelibagna.com, and reach out to me straight from there. Um, yeah, we help people with keyword research so that you know exactly what to do and you know waste time. And you can already project and see whether this website is going to um, earn me money or not. Because... Once you do the research, you know what, what to do and whether you should even pursue it or not. Okay, so that's very, very important. Um, the next thing is to settle on a domain name. So your domain name should be something simple and something related to your industry, something that people within your industry can relate with, all right? Don't go for something extravagant or, <laughs> you know, out of place. Let it be something that's your industry can relate with or your customers or whoever you are intending to build a website for can actually relate with, all right? You can use any name, .com, .org, um, whichever. I would always recommend .com if you can because it's the most affordable domain. I think for about $15 or so, you can get a domain. So yeah, go for something that makes sense to your industry, all right? Um, once you have the domain name, you can host your website. So if you are looking for a good place where you can buy domains and host your website, uh, I'm putting it down in the description below. Um, I use TMD Hosting. I've been using them since 2016. And yeah, I actually switched to them in 2016 and they've been excellent. Like, I don't even know what downtime is. <laughs> My websites are always up every and they have good customer service too, which is very, very important to me. All right, so I would re highly recommend them to you. The link is in the description. You can click it, get an account that will work for you. Um, I think for, I think about 30 or $50 a year or so, you can get an account and, you know, start hosting your website. You bought your domain name, you've hosted it. Now you have your website. Now the next thing you need to do is to build your website. And I think one of the most popular website builders right now is WordPress because it makes it very easy. And for what you want to do, which is mainly blogging and creating content, I would highly recommend WordPress because it's easy to use, easy to manage, and it has its own client relationship management area. So um, you are able to log in and manage everything yourself. You don't need to hire somebody to manage it for you. You'd be able to do it yourself. All right, so I highly recommend that if you also need help with building your website, feel free to reach out to us. We do all that as well, website development, etc. We can definitely help you out to get started with your website. So how, do, how does website monetization work? Now that you've built your website and you've started getting views, you've started getting people coming to your website, how do you monetize? How do you make that? How do you change that into money? Because that's the main aim of what you're doing. You're doing all this because you want to monetize this, right? Now, Google has what they call the CPM or cost per mill. So they actually pay you for every thousand 
um, impressions or views. All right, the mill is thousand in French. I don't know why they use French words, but there's cost per mill, so cost per thousand basically. So for every thousand views, you receive a you receive money for that. So um, once your website is up and running, you just need to sign up on a platform called AdSense. Right, I, there are other platforms as well, but I think AdSense is the easiest. It's run by Google, and Google has the widest, you know, <laughs> uh, advertising network around. So it does make sense to get an AdSense account. Once you are set up on AdSense, you install it on your website, and it shows ads to all your viewers. All right, so if you are getting um, hundreds of views, it will show ads to all those people who are viewing your website. And Google will actually pay you for allowing you to show the ads to your website. All right, and that's how websites are actually monetized. So the more views you get, the more money you make. All right, so for this example, the CPM rates can vary you know, from 0 0.2 cents to about $3 or even more per, per thousand views, right? So if we are using a CPM of about $2 on a site that makes around 20,000 views per, per month, let's say per month, okay? That will be around $40 per month just from getting views. You know, and you you realize that you didn't even do much to get these views. These views are coming because you've created the content. You spent time to create valuable content. You've done your keyword research. You know that thousands of people are looking for answers or solutions to so so and so. You create content about that that answers those questions, and you get all those people flocking to your website. And you realize that that's a very passive way of making money because at this point, the more content you make, the more money you are going to make, all right? And that's one of the very, very um, good ways of, create, of, of passive income, if you ask me, because you have this website forever. Your costs are going to be your domain name and hosting that you need to be renewing every single year. And within your first year, I'm sure you would make up all the money you need to be able to, you know, um, pay for all that and even increase it some more, all right? So you need to really focus on creating good content. If you want to increase the amount of viewers and the viewership that comes to your website, you need quality content. When I say quality content, you must understand what search engine optimization is all about. You know, search engine optimization basically means that um, it's, it's related to people who are looking for things on search engines. Because to be honest, the internet normally starts, most people's internet journey normally starts with the search engine. You know, if you need something right now, you're not gonna ask your brother or, or mother or anybody like that. You are first of all going to search, most likely. It's become a habit for most of us. So we normally search first. And the first, you know, when you search, the first options that come, there's a high probability that you're going to click one of them. So search engine optimization basically helps you get your website to appear for specific searches. So if someone, um, let's use the bakery for example, right? Let's say someone is looking for best bakery in Accra. You can create content around that create content around the best bakeries in Accra, where to find them. If your website is about bakeries, you just love baking and all that. So you put a list of some of the best bakeries that people can access in Accra. And you realize that people who search for that particular keyword, best bakeries in Accra, they'll all be flocking to your website because you've given them options. You've made it easy for them. They don't have to now be going through website by website, when they come to your website, they see all the best bakeries and they can just click through to any of those websites. And once they come to your website, you're already making money from them because ads are being shown to them automatically, all right? So that's the power of your website. And with this, when you keep creating great content, when you keep creating great SEO content, your website just keeps growing. It grows stronger and stronger. Every month you realize that it is growing because more and more people keep searching. 
Yeah, some of the searches are what I call evergreen searches. They never stop all throughout the year. People are always searching for particular keywords. There are also some keywords that people that are seasonal. You know, when it's getting to Christmas time, people are looking for Christmas related stuff. You can create content around that as well. So when you understand SEO, you know the kind of content you need to be creating for your website to keep getting more and more viewers coming to your website and you can turn that into money, right? If you want to really get to know more about this, I have a course that I think would be great for you. It's a writing course and it takes you through the basics of SEO. I'll talk more about that at the end of the course, at the end of this session, sorry. So now that you have content and you're creating content, you need to be consistent. Yes, this is the main thing or the main issue for a lot of people that get into this. They start out strong. They start seeing the impact. Hey, we are getting our first thousand, 10,000, 20,000 views. Great, great. But um, to keep it growing, you need to be consistent. You need to consistently be producing more and more content that is more and more valuable to your people. Because now that you've created content, let's say you've created about um, 50 pieces of content on your website, you realize that you, you start getting a following. People who are in that industry start gravitating towards you because it's like you're always giving them great information every single time. So it's very important that you be consistent and continue to create great content. I've seen a lot of content creators who just, you know, they lose it after some time. They lose their, their rhythm of creating content. Never lose that. Always have a plan to be writing every time. You might be a doctor. You might be a busy doctor. Um, you, are, you, are, you are at work throughout the whole day. But there are times that you're off. There are times that you're at break. You can use that time to write very important content. You know, what are some of your patients always asking you about? You know, you can write content about it. Give them medical and a medical insight. You can create a whole website just talking about that. Maybe you run a spine clinic or something like that. Educate people about spinal health. You know, let them know what and what. If you are feeling pain in your back, what 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 could it mean? These are some of the um, symptoms of so so and so. You know, things like that that people can actually read get to understand and then even connect with you because when you are consistent, your audience also becomes more and more consistent. So consistency is key. Very, very, very important. Okay. So at this point, when you are, when you get that consistency in or the, at this point, the sky is the limit, you know, you can grow your audience more and more and more. The website trajectory is always an upward one because once you start getting people organically, I say organically because there are other ways to get people. You can pay for ads and get people coming to your website. But um, I don't think that's the best way to grow this kind of web business because you need to be paying to get people to come. And you should get to a point where people are coming organically. That way, once you put in the time and the effort to create the content, that piece of content can keep bringing in more and more people consistently for over 10, 15, 20 years, 50 years from now. Even when you're not here, you can just hand over the website to your children. And maybe at that time, the website is earning like $1,000 every single month because you've created content, you've attracted people to keep coming to your website. So yeah, that's the power of a website. I mean, as I said, the sky is the limit. Okay, at this point, you can even diversify your content as well. Start creating video content. Have a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel can also be linked to your AdSense account. So as you're on YouTube, you're creating video, maybe you're turning some of your written content into video. As people are watching those videos, you can even embed those videos on your website. The more views you're getting, the more ads are being shown on videos. You know how YouTube works already. As you are on YouTube watching, ads are always being shown all over. And the creators are getting paid for those ads that are being shown on YouTube. All right. So it means that 
all you need to do is create and diversify your content more and more. When you add the video element, you realize that your content is just going to, I mean, your revenue is just going to increase more and more and more. All right. So at this point, it depends on you. How big do you want your website to be? How much do you want to grow your website? And the good thing here is that I know a lot of people who are still keeping their nine to five and are building this website empire. All right. And I'm actually here to guide people through it. I, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions where we help you set up the website, um, start the website, and then, you know, help you run the website as well. So that you know that once I'm investing so, so, and so into the website, I know that it's going to reap this result because the, 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 the research is already showing that people are searching. And I'm telling you, there's never a case where we've worked on the research. We've seen that, oh, it gets maybe 5,000 views a month. And we start working on it within six months. You realize that you are, you are almost at a thousand views per month organically, you know, and from there, it just keeps going higher and higher. That's why I said, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is something that you should consciously build, you know, think about what you want to build, what you are passionate about. That's why I always add passion, because if you are not passionate about the topic, you will not even be motivated to write for it. You would lose interest very fast and you will never be consistent. But when you are consistent, you are going to see great results. There are some websites that I have that I've not even contributed anything to that website in years. But that website is still bringing in money every single month because it's attracting people all right so um it really depends on you at this stage how big do you want your website to grow um it's all dependent on you all right and i think the starting point which i always tell people is you need to know how to write all right that's why i created a course on writing to help people get started with writing People who want to know how to do SEO writing. The course covers everything. How to do keyword research. Um, how to write content that ranks. How to get more and more traffic coming to your website, etc. Everything is within the course. And the course is full of videos. There's a book that you also get. And I mean, it's very, very comprehensive. So you can head over to my website, kikilibakner.com slash writer. Um, you'll see more information there. You can take the course. It's an online course, so at your own time, you can go through it, um, learn what you need to learn, and start creating an empire that you can even hand over to your children and your children's children. All right, so if you need help with starting your website, if you need help to get started, I know a lot of people always find it difficult. It looks like uh, wow, this thing is going to be so hard to start. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to go around this whole thing. But the truth of the matter is that it's not difficult at all. And that's why I'm, I'll be glad to guide you through. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description below. You can click it and then I'll take you through those sessions and help you build a very profitable, profitable website that's Within the next six months to a year from now, you can start reaping the benefits of a strong website. All right. So if you have any questions, let me quickly check if there are questions or anything in the chats. Okay. I'm not seeing any questions here. It means I'm a good teacher. It means that people are, I think everything is well understood. But if you have any questions, you can always leave it in the chats. I always go through my comments and I'll definitely um, address them. All right. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you want to start, let me know as well. You can always reach me and we can get started with that. All right. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Kekeli Bakner. If you've not subscribed already and you've watched up to this point, Ali, subscribe. Okay. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, let's be in touch more and more. And I try and do these sessions on a weekly basis. I do my best and I'm sure I'll be coming up with more and more content. So thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.